Hello everybody, FHRC Brony here, and today we are here at the Nürburgring in Project Gotham Racing 4. And today I'll be driving my Toyota Supra, and I'm going to be racing a Mercedes AMG CLK DTM. If you guys are wondering which layout is this, is going to be the North Slide followed by the Grand Prix Circuit. So um, as you can see, the Mercedes AMG CLK DTM is outrunning the Super right now, which is kind of the opposite of what you guys may think, because you know usually two JZs, especially with modified, they go faster. Well, in Project Gotham Racing 4, unlike Forza Motorsport or even Gran Turismo, you can't upgrade any cars in in Project Gotham Racing. So you're pretty much basically driving stock. So which I which I kind of like because actually no, which I really like the most is because. I like to see how well the driver can drive their cars, and I go. I now go through Michael Schumacher S. Not too bad. Mercedes AMG is still up in the lead right now. Not for long though. And the most interesting thing is you can actually, in Project Gotham Racing, you can actually race on tracks like the Nürburgring in reverse. So the, the race direction of the Nürburgring is actually clockwise. So you can basically drive, you can basically drive the Nürburgring counterclockwise, which is kind of crazy. Never thought of that. <laughs> nice job around entering into North Life. got off the track right there, but that's okay. This is not like Forza, where you, when you get off the track, you get a dirty lap. Project Gotham Racing 4 does not even care if you do that. But I do not support shortcut. I do not uh, I do not support shortcutters. If you, if you accidentally get off the track, that's totally fine. As long as you get back on the track. Anyway, it's enough of me blabbing too much on you guys. I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of the race. And by the way, um, such so to let you know, uh, you can probably hear some rattling in my speakers. Because the speakers on this monitor is like not the greatest because the this monitor was actually made during the time when HDTV was a new thing so just let to let you know about that The 2JZ in this uh, game, the 2JZ exhaust note in this game does not sound as you would expect, huh? It's just a game, it doesn't bother me. Wow, that's the first. 
first time I ever went flat out through that. I can't even do that in Forza Motorsport. Basically, the physics in Project Gotham Racing is basically kind of a mix of that arcade style driving experience as what you get in Forza Horizon, but has that kind of semi-simulation experience as what you get in a motorsport series. So you get the best of uh, both worlds in, in Project Gotham Racing 4. Mercedes AMG CLK is already already murdered already. Super's already killing it. All thanks to that 2JZ. TRD is winning over that AMG. As I come into Carousel. Splendid. I screw up here a lot, especially in Forza Motorsport. Now I can flat out that. are wondering, does Project Gotham Racing 4, like, give you, like, time penalties whenever you get off the track? Just like how Forza Motorsport does when you ever get a, when you get off the track, you get a dirty lap penalty? And the answer to that is no. So, uh, if you get off the track on, on Project Gotham Racing 4, it doesn't really care. But I still do not encourage you guys to be jerks and cut through turns and things can get away with that. I do not support that at all. So we're about to enter the, the final stretch of the Nürburgring. And honestly, I'm not doing the very best at it. But I must say that this is actually one of the best runs I've ever done on the Nürburgring in this game. CLK DTM man. Poor AMG getting murdered by TRD. You guys are wondering how fast I'm going. I'll bring you guys to the, um, to the bumper view. I am driving close to 160 miles an hour. 153 miles an hour to be exact. is a lap around the Nürburgring full circuit. And by the way, this is a car that's a class lower than the Mercedes AMG. So, stock versus stock, who wins? It's all about the driver. So anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that little, my first run around the Nürburgring in Project Gotham Racing 4. Talk to you guys again soon.